Good God. Anyway, I'll see you, okay? <laughs> Greetings and salutations. I'm Marianne Kay and we're ready to do some uh, some feng shui, right? I kind of was silly on the on the introduction to this whole. Um, Feng Shui uh, show. <laughs> Make sure I got back to you quick with another video to um, get you to realize that it's something that I think you'll have fun with. So for starters, before we get started with the serious stuff, um, I wanted to go over the, the, the basics. I'm not going to get too extravagant just yet because I think you all need to learn how to do feng shui on a fun way. Okay. As well as learn the basics so it's not so overwhelming because there's a bunch of things involved. Um, fun things like fire and water and wood and um, colors. I mean, there's just a lot that goes into, uh, I mean, that's the fun part, of course, but uh, I think the, the worst part of feng shui is clutter clearing. I'm sure you guys are all like, oh yeah, that's, because I know it's my thing, but who, you know, all of you out there who are really um, super neat, and all you need to do is the, is the fun stuff. I mean, I think, or what it's called, meat freaks in the feng shui realm. Um, and then there's the clutter rat and all these different things. But um, yeah, so I wanted to get back to you quickly and start explaining uh, the basics of feng shui. Well, first of all, what does feng shui mean? It means wind and water. Okay, so basically feng shui is just the flow of your environment. Um, it's also very um, landscape involved in uh, when feng shui became in existence um, in China eons ago, long time ago. Um, they had um, came up with feng shui knows of what everything was about your land and where your house was and what what direction it was and where your plants grew and 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 uh, everything was just very very precise to have good luck you know there's a lot of good luck in this um, when you feng shui your home, it just goes, it goes beyond, you know, all these good things start to come to you. But you're like, wow, what a coincidence, I'm, I'm getting more work, or, um, you know, this, this project is taking off, or... You know, I'll, I, it, you do notice something, a coincidence, if you will that pops up and you're like, wow, it's pretty odd that I did this and all of a sudden, you know, things are getting better. So there's a lot of good luck involved. Um, also, um, so it has a lot to do with your land, environment, and whatnot, but we're taking it to the, to the easiest of feng shui. Okay, so we're taking it to the, to the basics of feng shui, um, which is a very simple way of feng shui so you don't have to feel like you did something wrong. Um, and it's called the, the black set. Okay. 
and the black sect is basically uh, the black sect feng shui is basically um, Western feng shui, okay, which is us over here. We uh, on in traditional feng shui. is a compass involved where you have to make sure that everything is going to the north to the east whatnot okay well obviously for those of us in the western world we pr we not all of us were uh, as fortunate to have our home built so some of us either buy the houses we we buy that are already built or we live in condos apartments and whatnot Okay, so there is no compass in Black Set uh, Western Feng Shui, which makes it infinitely easier and much more fun because you're not so paranoid about which way you're going. Okay, so that's the basics on that. Um, first, Ready to learn the bakla. This is where it all gets started and begins.